Hey, what's up, y'all? Silent Alonzo here. I just want to do a quick video this morning before I head into the J-O-B. But I do want to talk about Dog Along Mars, but at the same time, I want to talk about the overall market. So, I mean, it's no surprise. Everybody knows that the market has dipped, right? It is, it is dumping. It has dumped. And, uh, you know, we're all looking to see what's going to happen next, right? Because anything can happen. It can either continue to go down or it could continue to go up. It could continue to go sideways, right? So, these are my thoughts on it. Um, you know, we've had a, a pretty decent year. And um, now people want to take profits, right? And I think that that's happening, right? So, people are taking profits. And when Bitcoin goes down... Um, it's reflected in the rest of the market. But what I do see, if you go look at the charts, um, it's being bought back up fairly quick. So that's a good indication there. I mean, if I had some money right now, I'd probably be buying, right? Because I'm, but I'm tapped out. I'm, you know, I'm maxed out or whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, I'm for right now, you know what I mean? But, uh, uh, all of my all of my investments are in the in the red right now. So I've been here before. I've seen this. I've felt this before. So it's kind of challenging, man. Especially if you're new, uh, to deal with all of this, right? The fear, right? The uncertainty, you know. Um, but most of the time, I will say that if I just hold, or I would have just held, that I would have been in a better place than if I sold. All right. So with that said, I was looking at Dog Along Mars, right? And it's floating in the 1200s. And while I was looking at that, I kind of felt inspired, right? Because it's not as low. It didn't drop as much as most of my other investments. So that means we are holding the line even though there's a falling knife in a, a Bitcoin, right? So... Um, I was inspired by that, and and then I had to look at it and reconsider how I was feeling, and um, just really uh, analyze it from a, a logical perspective. Um, look at it, twelve hundred, right? Not saying it's going to by any means, but if it did hit just straight even one thousand, that means that every time it goes up, the money is doubled, and doubled. And doubled. So like if if it's at one one thousand and it goes to two thousand doubled, right? Then to three thousand, four thousand, right? So we're so close to that that even a twelve hundred mark, that means that at twenty four hundred you double. And that's what is that? That's the all time high is like twenty four hundred, right? Twenty six hundred. So you know, you could look at this as a buying opportunity. Which it is, because if I had more money uh, to put in at, uh, at this go round, I would. But unfortunately, I you know I bought I was buying in and all the other dips. I wasn't expecting it to go down this low. But now that it is, you know you've got to look at that old saying. You know, buy when there's blood on the streets, even if it's your own, because eventually the market will recu uh, recuperate, and that may be sooner than later. You know, and and that's what we're all looking for. Now, with that said, you know what's the next move? I'm st nothing has changed for me. I'm still excited. You know, I'm still, um, um, how can you put it? Um, I'm still confident in my investment in Dog Along Mars and in others. You know, so you just gotta wait it out. You know, that's just part of it. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, um, I lost what I was going to say, man, it's too early for me, man, but I was going to, I was basically going to say that, um, you know, um, if you, if you sell off your bags now, right, because you're panicking, if you sell off, if you sell them off, somebody else is buying it. You know what I'm saying? So 
you've got to look that where you may be panicking, somebody else sees opportunity and they'll buy them from you. You know, they they will buy them from you. And you sold them, you lost your position. And, you know, in my experience, every freaking time, it just happened to me. I made a video about it and I made the same mistake. It, it just happened to me. And I'm going to talk about it <laughs> so that you understand. Boy, backs, I've, you know how long I've held backs? I've held backs since 2017. And I've seen it go up and go down and I've traded it and all that type of stuff. And then it was just flatlined, man. It wasn't doing anything. And I'm like, man, screw this coin. It just keeps going lower right, and I sold it, right, and I felt good about it, I, you know, I bought into uh, uh, something else, you know, I used some of that money to, to, to buy some of the dips, and I kid you not, two, three days later, that sucker tripled, man, and I will give it, it might have been a, you know, a pump and dump or whatever, but it still tripled, I looked at it, and I just shook my head, and I was like, man, you waited for me to sell. Like, this, like you know, I, you know, I'm exaggerating, right? But you get that feeling. It's like, man, like the moment I got out of it, it's like I was the catalyst to to uh, me selling was the catalyst to to let it to spike, you know, to get it to spike, you know. And I'm sharing that story because if you're panicking, with I'm confident in this in this investment, so. Whether it goes up or down, up or down, I'm here because I eventually know. I mean, I know that eventually it's going to pop up and spike just like that Bax did, you know. And if I sold right now, man, it'd be wild, man, because it, it, the type of, the type of I, I don't want to say the type of luck, but the type of uh, 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 experiences that I've had is that the moment that I sell or pull out of a project, Within a couple of days, if not the same day, the sucker spikes. So it's a funny story, man. And I always I, I always say, man, it waited for me to sell or it waited for me to buy in for it to start moving, right? One way or the other. So, man, just look at the market. If you see opportunity, take advantage. But don't panic. That's all I can say, man, is don't panic and use your head. And if you see an opportunity, get it because tomorrow may not be there. You know, tomorrow they may be a better opportunity. So you always have to look at these things and make a decision that's best for yourself. It's not financial advice, but when there's blood on the streets, there's opportunity to me. Dog along Mars, get you some.